Hi guys! This demo will be on the formation of complex ions and how Le Chatelier's principle affects them. The initial solution is created by adding solid copper 2 chloride to water, creating CuH2O6 plus 2 aqueous, a complex ion. Ammonia is then added to the solution, and since ammonia is a weak base, it forms OH- or hydroxide ions in the solution. The hydroxide ions then react with CuH2O6 plus 2 ions, forming copper hydroxide. The copper hydroxide precipitates out, making the solution look slightly cloudy. It is not fully insoluble, but has a KSP of 2.2 times 10 to the negative 20th, making it effectively insoluble. As more ammonia is added, an excess of NH3 forms, reacting with the original complex ion from the first solution, which is still present after the copper hydroxide has precipitated out. These form a dark blue copper ammonia complex, CuNH3-4 plus 2. As this new dark blue ion forms, the precipitate disappears. If we look at the equation from above, we observe that the formation of the copper ammonia complex consumes the original copper ion, which is also a reactant in the copper hydroxide precipitate. As shown by Le Chatelier's principle, as this reaction consumes the copper 2 ion, effectively decreasing the concentration of it in the other reaction, the reaction must respond by attempting to return to equilibrium by decreasing the concentration of the copper hydroxide precipitate. As more ammonia is added, the copper hydroxide precipitate disappears entirely and the reaction itself ceases to occur in the solution. The next step is to add hydrochloric acid until the solution returns to its original state. Being a strong acid, the HCl completely dissociates into H3O plus or hydronium. The formation of hydronium begins to neutralize the hydroxide, affecting the first reaction of ammonia with water. As the hydronium neutralizes the hydroxide, it decreases the concentration of hydroxide in the reaction. This causes the reaction to consume more NH3 as it attempts to maintain equilibrium, another example of Le Chatelier's principle. As the NH3 is consumed, the excess that allowed the dark blue copper ammonia complex to form disappears, causing the reaction to respond by dissociating the copper ammonia complex back into the original copper ions and NH3. Eventually, as the copper ion concentration goes up, the copper ammonia complex will disappear completely. This allows the formation of the copper hydroxide precipitate to occur again, reverting the solution back to a cloudy blue. As even more HCl is added, the hydronium neutralizes more of the OH-, a reactant in the formation of the copper hydroxide precipitate. This is yet another example of how Le Chatelier lives on, as the reaction must respond by dissociating the precipitate back into the copper ions in OH-. Eventually, all the precipitate disappears and the solution reverts back to its original, transparent, light blue state. Now here's a simplified overview of what we covered so far. First, we added solid CuCl2 to water to form a copper ion solution. Then we added ammonia until it formed a copper hydroxide precipitate. Then we added more ammonia until it formed a copper ammonia complex. Then we added HCl until it reverted back to its original state. Now let's watch the video. She may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Citrus in your fever scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send a full stop? Do you know where the waffles go? They go along to take your honey. Way down I we build a breakfast town and save my love, my love, love, love. La 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 la, muscle to muscle, head to toe, to toe.
pistol shows Hold her down when soggy clothes and breeze blows She's morphine, queen of my vaccine My love, my love, love, love Muscle to muscle and toe to toe 